Once the budget is presented, it has to make its own journey through Parliament. The speech in the Lok Sabha by the Finance Minister is followed by tabling of the Finance Bill in Parliament. Discussions on the economy and the broad measures detailed in the budget take place without any voting. Both Houses of Parliament, Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha, then take a three-week recess. Following this, parliamentary committees submit reports on various ministries, estimates for demands for grants from the allocated budget. Article 113 of the Constitution mandates that the estimates of expenditure from the Consolidated Fund of India included in the annual financial statement and required to be voted by the Lok Sabha be submitted in the form of demands for grants. The demands for grants are presented to the Lok Sabha along with the annual financial statement. Generally, one demand for grant is presented in respect of each ministry or department. However, more than one demand may be presented for a ministry or department depending on the nature of expenditure. In the budget 2018-19, there were 99 demands for grants. These are essentially annual expenditure plans of each department or ministry for the financial year. Parliament, unfortunately, has very limited time for scrutinizing the expenditure demands of all the ministries. So once the prescribed period for the discussion on demands for grants is over, the Speaker of the Lok Sabha puts all the outstanding demands for grants, whether discussed or not, to the vote of the House. This process, with demands which have not been voted upon till the last day and then are voted upon together, is popularly known as guillotine. For more such videos, stay logged on to moneycontrol.com.